When you create an array of objects in AutoCAD LT2012 for Mac, the relationships between those objects persist, making it easy to change the number of columns or rows in a rectangular array, or the angle between items in a polar array. This conference room, full of tables and chairs, has been laid out with the rectangular array command. With multifunctional grips, it only takes a few clicks to reduce the spacing between the columns, add another column, and stretch out the rows to fill the room. You can use the Edit Source option from the visor to make changes to the basic geometry of the array, such as putting three chairs at every table instead of two. Path Array is a completely new type of array available in AutoCAD LT2012 for Mac, although you will notice similarities between it and the familiar Measure and Divide commands. This path array contains a line of shrubs in a landscape. The array is associated with this spline, so that when the spline is modified, the shape of the array updates to match. The divide option is current, which means that the objects are distributed evenly along the path. Change it to measure to be able to control the spacing between individual objects. As you change the parameters of the array, the objects update to reflect the new configuration. If you want to vary the objects in an array, you can use the Replace Item option from the visor. Afterwards, the array remains associative. The new objects behave just like the originals when the array or its path is modified. And if you change your mind, you can use the Reset Array option to put everything back to its original state.